And we're talking about the weather hopefully calming down over the next few days in terms of the wind and finally warming up. Not going to happen immediately, though. We're still on the chilly side. Upper 40s in town, 49 in the city, 48 Islip. Same thing West Hampton and a little cooler north and west. Montgomery already down to 43. Most of New Jersey in the mid and upper 40s as we speak. Still have that persistent northwest to west gusty wind. We've seen a gust of 32 miles an hour at Newark last hour. Close to 25 in Farmingdale, Belmar, Bridgeport close to 30 miles per hour and probably not going to really change all that much during the day tomorrow. At night, the wind comes down a little bit, gets a little less gusty, so we start the day with gusts of 10 to 20 miles per hour across the area, but then they ramp up again out of the northwest, 20, 25, maybe near 30 on the east end of Long Island tomorrow afternoon into the evening hours, and then hopefully things are going to calm down as we get towards the beginning of next week. Meantime, satellite radar, we were in and out of clouds, more clouds than sun certainly today, and I think we're going to just see the same thing repeat tomorrow. A couple of sprinkles north and west, most of these are going to die out shortly, and we may see a spritz or two in the air tomorrow as well. But the upper level disturbance still spinning in the atmosphere isn't moving very quickly eastward. So the overall pattern really can't change all that much until that kicks on out of here. And that probably doesn't happen until Monday, really. So futurecast, uh, again, watching temperatures drop from the upper 40s to around 40 by tomorrow morning in the city, upper 30s, nearby suburbs, and some low to mid 30s north and west. Notice a lot of clouds around, though there'll be breaks and intervals of sun tomorrow. Saw a couple of little green speckles go by. Could be a sprinkle here or there. Temperatures tomorrow may be a couple of degrees better in the low 50s. 50s, and then into tomorrow evening, pretty much the same thing, just some clouds around, but it should stay mainly dry. So overnight, partly cloudy. Tomorrow, still more clouds than sun. And then for Sunday, we're hoping more sun than clouds, although we should have a little bit of both. Looks like a drier day and a little more comfortable, and that high gets closer in time for the eclipse. So the eclipse starts at 210 here in the city, reaches the max, which is about 90% of the sun covered by 325. And then the partial eclipse ends by 436. Really stays in that 90% range for only about a two to three minute period. That's when you'll notice it getting a little bit darker outside. So how do you protect yourself? Don't look directly, obviously, at the sun. Sunglasses don't work. You need these. Specially approved glasses. Get yours now. And uh, create a pinhole projector if you can. You can even get a colander and actually hold that up and then project it onto a surface. And you'll see a bunch of little eclipses actually on the ground or whatever you're projecting it onto. Yeah, I've done it. All right, 55 by Sunday. There's the eclipse day, 62. There will be some high clouds. So we're going to have to watch that. Look at that. The winter, Tuesday, 70. And then more wet weather moves in Wednesday through Friday of next week.